In this problem, we are given an inequality which says that 1 by the absolute value of x is less than 1. From here, we need to find the interval in which x can lie. So, we very well know uh, we can write this equivalently as mod x is greater than 1. So, when you deal with inequalities, you have to be very careful when you cross multiply and do things like that. So, here mod x is something which is positive and therefore, I can cross multiply without changing the sign of the inequality. So, once I have this, now since it is an inequality involving absolute values, you have to take two cases that is when x is positive and when x is negative. So, when let us take the case when x is greater than or equal to 0, then we know that mod x is equal to x itself. So, what then this implies that the inequality is, the inequality gives us x is greater than 1, alright. And let us, so this is case 1 and similarly let us take case 2 when x is negative. So, here as we know it is nothing but x becomes equal to minus x. So, what we get is minus x should be so greater than 1 and this is equivalently the inequality that x should be less than minus 1. So, what is happening here is that we are multiplying both sides of the inequality by a negative number and that is why the sign of the inequality changes. So, you combine all these things. So, in fact, there are four inequalities and we need to take the intersection of all these inequalities. So, combining these two, we can say that x greater than 1 is the intersection of these two and combining these two, it is x less than minus 1. So, ultimately what we get is the inequality, the range for x is nothing but minus infinity to minus 1 union the interval 1 to infinity. So, as such this problem is straightforward just that you need to be very careful when dealing with inequalities especially when you multiply by numbers on both sides of the inequality. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.